Okay, so first thing we're going to do is what? You guys tell me. <laughs> check the order. Gather our equipment. Check the order. Check the medical record, right? It's not what it says. Then we're ready to um, read our patient scenario and make an assessment, right? Do the math, because you have to do the math before you call the patient or call the doctor, right? Now we're ready to call the doctor. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> so uh, I'd just be like, hi, Dr. Smith. This is uh, Kendra Kinnear. I'm an RT student. I'm calling about Joe Bob. Uh -huh. uh, the patient has a uh, res respiratory rate of 32 beats per minute, and um, his saturation is extremely low. You recommended that he wanted a, or he should be placed on a 4 liter per minute nasal cannula, but I believe that he should be placed on a 50% venti mask instead. Okay, uh, why? Uh, because with this respiratory rate, he definitely needs to be placed on a high flow instead of a low flow device. Oh, okay, all right. You're the smart therapist, do it. All right, Bye. all right. <laughs> all right, so now you have an order for what you want, and you said... I have to prepare. Right, and I didn't... Did didn't bring a any mask. All right, so <laughs> let's pretend her order was for a 100% non-rebreather. I'm going to wash my hands. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then... Knock, knock. Hi, Maria. I am... Or wait, I would be like, hi, Miss... Yes. Joe Bob. Hi, Miss Joe Bob. Hi, Miss Bob. Maria. <laughs> um, I'm Kendra I'm your respiratory therapist for the day. Um, okay, you check her identity another way. Oh, can I see Yes, you can... Yep, let me see your wristband. Right, sure, you. good. Okay, now I need to take your pulse. And let's, let's just go with... Put the oxygen on first. Okay. And then you can do the assessment because we'd want to give the patient the oxygen, especially in this case, okay. 65%. So go ahead and put the patient on the oxygen. I'm just going to put you on oxygen now. Uh -huh. And we don't have a flow meter. We don't have a wall outlet. <laughs> All right. So luckily she's got the flap off so that Maria can breathe through that mask. All right. You can go ahead and take it off, Maria, just so that you're comfortable. But at that point. I'd be like, can I check your heart rate? Mm-hmm. All right, so she would be wearing the oxygen. We're going to check heart rate, check respiratory rate. See, I'm going to have to work on this respiratory rate. <laughs> you can take your dog's respiratory rate. You can take uh, your roommate's respiratory rate. You can practice on anyone, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, so you've got your numbers. You would write them down somewhere. You'll have scrap paper. You can write them down. Okay. You're going to evaluate the effectiveness of the therapy before you leave. Like, how does it feel? Do you feel any better? Is it helping? Okay. And for the non-rebreather, you'd check the bag, make sure that it's half to a third full on a deep breath. You'd make sure your your flow meter is adjusted appropriately. And check the patient, and then you're ready to chart. She would chart, and then get ready to answer the questions. Okay. That's it.